Hello Photoshoppers, it is I, Mark Elmo Ellis, with another exciting video tutorial from PhotoshopTrainingForum.com, where we teach you how to clearly and concisely use Adobe Photoshop. Today we're going to learn how to use the elliptical selection tool, and it's a pretty easy tool to learn how to use, but it's one we need to go over, and there's a certain thing that you need to do if you're going to select an area that you want to, so I'm going to teach you a little trick here. All right, we're going to go up to our tool palette, and we're going to go to the second icon down, and we're going to click on the square or the rectangular one, and we're going to select elliptical marquee tool. And, of course, this turns it into either an oval or a circle or whatever. Okay, so that was a circle. That's a circle. Okay. So, anyway, uh, we're going to select just this little green spot here. And the way we're going to do this is now if you hold down your left mouse button and you start to drag, you'll notice that your little marquee selection tool part there is is got the little dotted lines going around and if you release the mouse button it stops okay and all you have to do to get rid of this is to click on anywhere on your workspace here it goes away so that's something you need to know but today we're going to try to just select the circle and as you see if you do it the standard way if you hold down the mouse button and drag it's going to be rather hard to select because it's not going to come out at exactly the right space however there is a trick to doing this, and I'll show you how to do it. So you want to select just the circle, but you can't get the cursor to go exactly where you want it to. And once you start messing around with this and you start dragging, you know, left-clicking and dragging, you'll see what I mean. It's very difficult. So what you do is you start clicking and dragging, keep the mouse button down, and hold down the spacebar key. Now watch this. Now you can, with both of these buttons pressed, your left mouse button and the spacebar, you can move the circle where you want it to be. Okay? Now, you'll notice down at the bottom, I'm not quite where I want it to be yet. I can still release the space bar and expand my circle. And I did it. And that's just how easy it is to select what you want to. So what you do is, you hold down the left mouse button, you drag, do not let up on the left mouse button, do not let up on it, hold down the space bar, and it will let you move the circle. So that's pretty easy to learn how to do. So once again, let's go through that one more time. I'm dragging my mouse with the left mouse button pressed down, about the size of the circle I want. Now I'm going to hold down the mouse button still while holding down the space bar. And I can move my circle to where I want it. Let up on the space bar. I can adjust the size of this a little more. Hold down the space bar. Almost a perfect fit. It's just that easy. So it takes a little bit of practice because you could get the space bar and the mouse button a little confused. As long as you remember to keep the mouse button down while pressing the space bar, you'll be okay. Okay, there's one other thing you need to learn about with the elliptical tool. Uh, if you want to move this object here, it's very easy to do. Let's select it one more time, holding down the left mouse button, dragging. Got it about where I want it. Hold down the space bar, drag it. Okay, got it right there. Okay, now I'm going to hit the control button, and you'll notice my cursor changes, and if you put it right over where the circle is, and you hold down the control button, you can move your circle around anywhere you want to put it. And it's just that easy. Actually, you can do it without put, holding down the control button after a while. And basically what that's doing is selecting this tool up here on the toolbar. All right. So that's real easy to do, and that's a trick that you'll need to know that will help you out with your Photoshop project. Once again, this has been Mark Elmo Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com, where we teach you how to clearly get sight and use Adobe Photoshop. God bless and have a great day.